welcome to the workshops here at Woodstock Car Sales. So we're going to show you two Defender 110 commercial vehicles. These vehicles have had our seat conversion completed to them. So we'll look at the blue car first. Um, and as you can see in here, the bulkhead has been removed from the commercial vehicle. A carpet trim has been fitted to the floor and a three seat rear bench has been put in. The seat has two seat belts, left and right, and in the centre is fitted with a lap belt. The seats are made of a leatherette vinyl, a hard wearing type similar to Land Rover's Robust Tech, um, and they are fluted and stitched in the design that you will see in the front of a Defender, so they look very similar um, to the factory seats. The seats fold, I can show you that in a moment. They've got three head restraints and they have two isofix points on both the outer seats. In this particular vehicle, the windows have remained covered. Go around the back. As you can see, this is the load area. We retained the the lift up floor. As I say, and the seats are trimmed on the back in the carpet um, and they do fold. So this retains it as a temporary seat in your commercial vehicle. So that's the seat folded, as you can see. Only a very, very slight angle, it's nearly flat. allowing a good load through. With the windows covered and the doors closed, this vehicle still functions very, very well as a, as a full commercial vehicle. So having a look at this black vehicle, this has had a slightly more comprehensive conversion. Inside we'll see the same seats, the same carpet, the same ability to fold. The extras on this vehicle are interior pull handles, fitted onto OE mounts so we don't, don't do any damage. We've also got the grab handles on the B pillar uh, to assist getting in and out. Um, this vehicle's also had the windows uncovered. Um, we've removed the panelling as you saw in the other vehicle and fitted this trim here, which covers a lot of the messy part underneath with all the trim and bits inside it. Um, the only telltale sign of the trim having been covered is a small mastic bead running around the outside. Um, we've made the call on this that it's most efficient to leave it behind. It will allow a flat surface for the boarding to stick back to if you want to revert it to a commercial quickly. And yeah, from a cost effect effectiveness point of view, um, it's gonna be tricky to remove without damaging the paint surface. As you can see, same setup retains the boot floor opening with the hinges, three head restraints which are removable and a folding setup. The conversion takes one full working day. So we would need the vehicle from a Monday morning to a Tuesday morning, or we would need an early drop off and a late pickup, something like eight o'clock drop off, 6 p.m. pickup. It will take the entire day to do the job. If you've got any questions, please contact us. Our link and contact numbers are below. Thanks for watching.